Salutations, gaming enthusiasts. George Mario Nerd here. We gather here today to pay our respects to the dearly departed social media site Miiverse. It was a fun and quirky site, and it brought Nintendo fans and artists from all over the world to share their love of games. It shall be deeply missed. Then again, a lot of you probably skipped the Wii U and never used Miiverse, and you play the Switch, so you have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, Miiverse was a social media service on the Wii U and 3DS made by Nintendo that was active from the years 2012 to 2017. It was made for talking about video games on the various communities that represented them. But if thou darest to post about other things not relevant to the community, then thou post shall be taken down, and the pain of a thousand bands be instantly upon you from the wrath of the Miiverse administrators. I'm exaggerating, of course, but you generally had to stay on topic to the communities you posted in, with a few exceptions like the YouTube and Art Academy communities, and the new Super Luigi U community after the redesign left it unchanged. On Miiverse you could make word posts or handwritten ones where people could make and share art and comics with the pretty limited drawing tools. You only had black and white to draw with and there was no zoom function so if you drew pixel art like me you had to mega squint the whole time plus there was no way to save your drawings to carry on later so you needed to do the whole thing in one sitting and your whole masterpiece gets thrown in the bin if your Wii U accidentally disconnects from the internet. You could also send and receive messages from people in your friends list, which was extremely convenient for arranging games to play with them. On a regular basis I'd arrange to play Minecraft, Mario Kart 8 and Splatoon with my Wii U friends and enjoy discussing said games with them afterwards. I was always a very socially awkward person and before I got Miiverse I didn't socialise with people, I didn't really do anything but play games. I wasn't making any decisions with my life. And I didn't have any friends who cared about Mario games anywhere near as much as I did. I felt isolated, and I felt I'd wasted my life thus far just playing video games. But then I made the first real decision of my adult life, and joined Miiverse and the online world. It may seem small joining a social media, but to me it meant finally taking some control of my life and steering it in a direction that would make me happy. Then I met all these people who were passionate about the same things I was, who appreciated my drawing and gaming skills, and I didn't feel alone anymore. And all the nice things people said and the followers I got made me realise my skills weren't useless. It was a much needed ego boost. Well that got deep really fast, I'll try to get back on topic. As I touched on earlier, on Miiverse I was a fairly prominent pixel artist with almost a thousand followers by the end of the social media site's lifespan. I mostly made comics of a corny humour calibre and single drawing jokes. I made one comic series named Nab and Weege that starred Nabbit, Luigi and a toad that constantly makes puns unimaginatively named Pun Toad as I put the trio in random situations for whatever random dumb gag I can think of. Another comic series called Evil is a Hobby about Fawful, Dementio and Duplis that was a lot harder to draw and made more of a story as well as more quirky characters and relationships. And lastly a comic about the Cooperlings called All Coopers Great and Small that literally had only two instalments. So I've talked about how much fun Meebus was and what it meant for me, but what am I getting at? Out of all the people I said I had fun with on Meverse, playing and discussing games with, Guess how many I was able to stay in contact with? One. You may have seen him in the comments of my videos, he actually helps me quite a bit with my channel, from getting the word out about my videos on social media, to straight up fixing my Super Mario Maker 2 bad level design video when I somehow screwed it up and didn't know how to fix it. I do have a few other Wii U friends in my Switch friends list, because Nintendo kindly gave us a list on the Switch of your Wii U buddies who also have a Switch. But the problem is, there's no communication. Unlike with Miiverse, there's no way to arrange games to play, and the feeling of community Miiverse once provided is gone. Sure, if I'm really fortunate, I might be playing on my Switch at the same time as one of my friends, and they might just happen to be playing a game I also own, and they might even be playing an online mode I can join them in. But without communication, I have to rely on that sequence of unlikely coincidences. And without communication, What's the difference between playing with friends and going online with randomers? Nintendo. 
it would be so easy to implement a basic messaging system for friends on the Switch. You don't need to resurrect Miiverse, but you can still give back the gift of communication between friends it provided. Until then, the Switch's predecessor, the so-called worse and unsuccessful Wii U will continue to have had in its heyday the best experience for online gaming with friends, and for meeting new ones to share a mutual love of Nintendo games. Darn, I really wish I started this whole YouTube thing before Miiverse died. I'd have had a huge audience of followers to suggest it to. Now since you clicked on this video about Miiverse, I'm assuming that you like social media, and Nintendo. Well, Miiverse may be dead, but my presence on social media isn't. I'm on Instagram, Reddit, and Twitter now, so say hi and maybe follow me if you get the chance. Perhaps you can teach me how to Twitter because I'm rather clueless. And that's it for today. I'm still sad Miiverse isn't a thing anymore, but I'm excited to get to know even more people who love Mario and Nintendo games through this channel. So be sure to tell me about your favourite games in the comments below, and any good Miiverse experiences you have to share, and subscribe for more. Until next time, farewell everyone.